Greetings, this is Dr. Sandra Cabot. It's great to be with you today, sharing my knowledge with you about the best diet for your liver. The father of medicine, Hippocrates, said, Let food be thy medicine, and medicine be thy food. And he also said, All diseases begin in the gut. Well, he was definitely switched on. That's a long time ago. But way back then, we did not know the myriad and critical functions of the liver. And that's why Hippocrates only mentioned the gut. Our liver receives all the blood from the gut after we eat. So it really is a gateway to the body. So the liver could be considered part of the gut in this way. Your diet plays a key role in your liver health and it can make a huge difference to those with any type of liver disease. So let's look at the best foods for your liver. Well, you knew I was going to say vegetables and that can include salads and cooked vegetables. They are all beneficial for the liver. Make sure you wash or soak the produce thoroughly because it can have pesticides and bacteria. I don't really like microwave cooking of vegetables. Um, microwaves are very intense heat and they do uh, disturb the molecular structure of the produce. So I say to people, if possible, uh, use cooking methods like steaming, stir fry or roasting the vegetables instead and you'll get less loss of nutrients and less damage to the food. Now you can make a really healthy salad dressing with cold pressed olive oil, freshly squeezed lime or lemon, some pepper and salt, add in a few herbs. Now the other thing that is essential for a healthy liver is to eat first class protein because that contains all the amino acids that your liver needs to detoxify your body and to manufacture its own proteins which are needed by your body. So first class protein is obtained from eggs, seafood, fresh red meat, poultry, unprocessed cheeses, and nuts and seeds. And it's good to eat protein every day and really even two or three times a day, particularly if you're very physically active. Now, you do not need a low-fat diet to have a healthy liver. A lot of people think fatty liver comes from eating too much fat. That's not correct. It comes from eating processed food and too much carbohydrate. However, if you find a meal high in natural fats gives you indigestion, this may be a sign of a dysfunctional gallbladder. Your gallbladder may not be making enough bile for you to break down, digest and absorb the fat. And it would be good to have your gallbladder function checked out with an ultrasound scan and a HIDA scan. Um, and one thing you could try is taking ox bile capsules, which contain ox bile, um, or digestive enzymes, or you might need both, in the middle of of a meal, particularly if it's a large or fatty meal, and that might prevent the indigestion. Now, healthy fats, as I said, are good for the liver because we need these healthy fats to make healthy cell membranes. And they're also good for the gallbladder because they get the gallbladder contracting, and the gallbladder is a muscle which just needs to contract. So where do you get the good fats from? Well, it includes uh, the fat from unprocessed, fre unprocessed fresh meat, seafood, which contains omega-3 fats, poultry, avocado, nuts, seeds, eggs, unprocessed cheeses, coconut cream, and olive oil. Also, coconut oil is healthy. So you don't need a low-fat diet for a healthy liver or a healthy gallbladder. You need a diet that is plentiful in healthy natural fats. But try not to overheat or burn fats because if you do, you will oxidize them and they're not so healthy. 
Now, one type of fat to avoid is deep fried foods. Stir fry is fine, but deep fried is not good. The other thing you want to get plenty of in your diet for a healthy liver are foods that are high in the mineral sulfur. Now, sulfur is needed for the liver detoxification pathways. We find sulfur in foods like eggs, garlic, onions, leeks, shallots, chives, and cruciferous vegetables such as broccoli, cabbage, Brussels sprouts and cauliflower, in other words, smelly foods. Now, if you have lost your gallbladder or have a poorly functioning gallbladder and have indigestion or constipation, you can try the ox bile capsules in the middle of a meal because the bile is important and it's a natural laxative. Now, if you do have any discomfort over the liver area and particularly indigestion with a fatty meal, you can ask your doctor to do an ultrasound scan of your liver and gallbladder and a HIDA scan. Now HIDA is spelled H-I-D-A and it stands for Patobiliary Aminodiacetic Acid Scan and it's an imaging procedure used to diagnose how your gallbladder is functioning and it'll show if your gallbladder is not contracting when you have fat. Um, and that means you've got a non-functional gallbladder, so when you eat, you're not getting the bile that you need to digest your food. Now, the other thing that is good for your liver when it comes to your diet is to try some intermittent fasting. It can be as simple as missing breakfast. And this will reduce the toxin load in your body and also reduce insulin resistance. Some people like to... I miss breakfast and lunch two or three days a week. It's good for weight loss, it's good for detoxifying and it's also helpful for people who have cancer or past history of cancer. You can also do a regular detox, say every three or four months, such as my 15-day Dr. Cabo cleanse uh, because that will help to eliminate toxins that are stored in the fatty parts and the organs of your body. We've mentioned drinking plenty of water, very, very important, raw vegetable juicing. You can also um, have a sauna, an infrared sauna, or get you sweating and you eliminate a lot of toxins through the sweat, or do a regular exercise program which raises a sweat. So they're the healthy foods you liver, and they're quite delicious, uh, natural, unprocessed food, and um, it's not really hard to stick to that type of eating as a lifestyle I find. Uh, I find that natural unprocessed food is quite tasty and you can use uh, natural spices and salt and pepper and herbs. So if you have any questions we'd love to hear from you. Um, so feel free to email us from our websites liverdoctor.com and sandracabot.com and thanks for listening. <laughs>